green and the red against Vesta Rowing Club A in the maroon at the bottom of your screen as they power off the start in this club men's eight event. Now these men's eights are really powerful crews, aren't they? Eight well-trained athletes really, really pumping some watts underwater. This is a fairly local rival, we would say, compared to the Globe. So Marlowe are actually situated just beyond the lock here at Henley. And Vesta just 40 miles down the road up in Putney in London. And right now, it's neck and neck. It really is. And, and maybe it looks like Marlowe Rowan Club are rating slightly lower strokes per minute, maybe rowing slightly longer strokes. But really, you can just see these boats surging between strokes, trading the, trading the lead. And this is the point you want to break the other crew. You want to stay in this race and you want the other crew to go away. But tell you what, neither of them have taken a big, decisive move. If anyone is just calling it for Marlow right now in this red here at the bottom of your screen, they're three quarters of a length up. As you move further down the race and Marlow stretched out that lead to about a length, but Vesta are not letting them go. You want to break that, don't you, Jack? You absolutely do. You want to you want to make the opposition in this head-to-head -head racing. You want to make the opposition believe that they can't do it anymore. If they have overlap and if the cops can see you, if the bow person can see you, they won't give up. They're sticking with them, and it's not comfortable. The stroke man of the Marlow crew, looking there at Harrison Green. He he can, all he can see is Vesta, so he won't know that they're quite clear of them yet. As they come past Remnam Club. They're going to have a huge roar here for Vesta, one of the Remen Club members. And tell you what, Vesta have responded. Yeah, that looks like some really effective rowing. And it doesn't look like they start to take any more strokes per minute. So there must have been some call about pushing through the drive even harder than they already were. Because that was a pretty, quite, pretty silent and stealthy move. It is, and I tell you what, Marlow need to answer that or absorb that push. Otherwise, the momentum is going to be with Vesta. Ashley Humphrey. Jeff Griffith, if they got an answer there, the Cox of Marlow, can they do anything in these last closing stages to hold off Vesta? I'm not sure they can. But this is what Henley Regatta is all about, a drag race through the Stewards Enclosure. I love this. This is fantastic. Everyone get on the edge of their seats at home, I expect, too. Marlow are absolutely going for it here. The bow seat there, we can see the back of Jack Gaston. His bows are clear. He's sitting tricky up in that bow seat, but you're going to have to make a move, Marlow, because Vesta are coming. They absolutely are. And, and while you're watching this, just understand that these athletes have been going for it for the last five and a half minutes. This hurts. Yeah, it's easy for us to tell them to race to the line, but they've been racing from the line since that flag went down. So who has got it? Who has got that extra little bit of training through the winter? Who's got that extra synchronization? Who's going to answer the calls of their coxswain the best? We're going to see this fold out in the next couple of hundred meters. Marlow have got the slight lead into the enclosures. But a lot of this comes to self-belief, doesn't it? If you believe you can do it, you can really put yourself in the right positions. So you just have to stay positive and think, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get every stroke right. Looking at the results of Head of the River, we'd say these are fairly even crews, and we're seeing that now. Marlow definitely responded. They've responded, Jack, and they've moved out their lead to a length. Vesta threw everything at it there going into those closing stages. Vesta really did, and Marlow got asked the questions, and it looks like they've shown a really fantastic answer to it, because look at that. They're rowing long. I think they have actually relaxed a little bit into that lead. They have, and Vesta were pushing them every inch of the way down there. But Marlow have just broken them, and they know they can almost paddle in this last 100 metres across that finish line. As they wait almost for Vesta coming over there. What a reaction. Look at what it means, this Marlow crew. They knew they were put under pressure as they take a win in the Thames Challenge Cup over Vesta Rowing Club today.